Hi, welcome to Sue Marie P. My name's Sue and today I'm super excited. I'm sharing my energy ball recipe with you. My sister in Australia requested this and I finally got around to doing a video. I've got one left over from what I made last week. So let me just show you. It's a super crunchy protein ball or energy ball, which is made up of seeds and nuts and peanut butter. Super simple and you can mix and match with whatever ingredients you've got in the cupboard. So if you'd like to see how to make my energy ball, come with me and let's see. everything so I've measured out some coconut and I've toasted that in the oven I just put it on maybe like 150 160 and toasted it for 10 minutes so we just need one large mixing bowl and a wooden spoon and we just throw everything in and mix it together and then start rolling it's that simple and you don't need to bake it let's just put in one cup of oats we've got our seeds or one cup of sunflower seeds last time I did this I did a whole cup of sesame seeds but I ran out so that's why I'm using pumpkin seeds today but like I said you can mix and match it and I toasted these um, beforehand and we've got our chocolate chips dark chocolate chips if you didn't want to add the chocolate for the children just leave that out and maybe add a little bit more fruit we've got the half a cup of cranberries we've got our quarter cup of chopped crystallized ginger that gives it that little unexpected punch we've got a half a cup of raisins one cup of currants and as I said you can swap that out for sultanas and we've got our cocoa powder and we've got our two cups of crunchy peanut butter which helps stick it all together and the recipe makes roughly about 30 balls so it makes quite a lot I made them this size last week which seemed to be a really good size they're also great for like if you if you do sport my husband does cycling I gave him some yesterday to cycle with I had him in the freezer and he really liked them I was worried that the coconut might be too crunchy but he said they were fine and my friend back in Canada who I originally got the recipe from hi Velray she freezes them and takes them in her pocket when she goes out for a hike so they're really versatile as a high protein snack if you want that energy boost so we just need to measure out some honey and just let me check my recipe because I've forgotten how much half a cup so let's grab our half a cup so we'll just pour that in I'm just going to mix it all with the wooden spoon and it might look like it's not coming together because uh, you might think oh no it looks too dry you can add more honey but I'd definitely wait until the end because it starts off looking dry and then all of a sudden it just kind of comes together and then once it's combined you just start rolling it into the bowl that's all mixed through so let's pop our gloves on and start rolling so we've got a teaspoon we're gonna grab a little ball squish it together first and then gonna roll it with our two hands like this so it's kind of resembles a ball and you can either leave it like this and just stack it up or you can roll it in your coconut the toasted coconut which is fun and a little bit more crunch So we're on the home stretch. My last ball it does take a little bit of time to time and patience to roll the balls. What I love about this recipe in particular, not only the crunch, but that, that you don't need to use a food processor or have a blender. So that's it, gloves off. Okay, let's taste these. Even though they're not chilled, let's have a taste. Mmm, they're still good. They're quite sticky with all the peanut butter. No, I can't talk. <laughs> I do think they taste better when they've been in the refrigerator. So just chill them, maybe half an hour before you eating them. I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera with a cup of tea. So if you've liked my video today on energy balls, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm, yum.